Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a nice new game template from Class Tools called The Vortex. You'll find it at classtools.net slash vortex. And here's how it works. Let's take a look at a sample game. And we'll see a list of games here that we can play as samples. And they're all sorting games. So let's start by sorting. We need to sort the terms as they pop up into the correct category. So let's now go and make our own version of this. Let's hit create new game and I'm going to put in a title of seasons. Now we'll put in fall, spring, summer, and winter. And of course now I'm going to put in some terms we associate with each one of these seasons. Like things like leaves changing, colorful leaves, sweater weather. And I'll do the same over here. And I'll do the same down over here with summer. Say it's hot, sunny, long days, cold, snowy, and short days. Now I have my game set up. Let's hit the save button. You can set a password for your game. So let's set that password. That password isn't so that people can access the game. It's so that you can go back and edit the game if you want to. And now we'll go and play the game. We'll find the game at that unique link that's now been assigned to the game. And we'll go ahead and start it. And we can now play the game. And we'll sort our terms. And the object is to sort as quickly as you can. You can see if I put things in the wrong category, it bounces it right back. And there we go. When I'm ready to quit, let's just hit quit. And we can share it. From here, we can get our little link directly to the game. You can see I can even embed it into a blog post or into a web page for my class website. And if I need to edit, hit that edit button, and I can go back in and edit the game. So that's the Vortex game. It's a nice, easy way to create a sorting game for vocabulary view or anything along those lines. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.